So I saw Escape Room over the weekend, and I have to admit, I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Um, so this movie came out earlier uh, this year, and pretty much the, the gist of the movie is that there are six strangers, and they're all invited to this elaborate uh, escape room type event. And <clears throat> pretty much things go bad, and they have to learn how to you know, work with each other in order to survive. Um, that's, pre- that's really the gist of the movie. And I have to admit, um, I wasn't really expecting much when I was, you know, when I heard about this movie. I, I saw, I remember seeing the previews for it, or trailers, I should say. And nothing about it really stood out to me. It looked like a gen- another generic horror movie or a thriller or whatever they want to call it. So I kind of said, well, I'm not going to go watch it in theaters, but I'll wait until it comes out on either Redbox or, you know, I'll just, or one of the streaming services in order to see it. So I picked it up from Redbox, um, checked it out, and it's actually better than I thought. Um, so the movie really revolves around these six people um, that are trying to get out of this room. Or these rooms, I should say. Um, so the actors and actresses are pretty good in this movie. Um, the main protagonist, I would say, is definitely Taylor Russell. Uh, she plays Zoe Davis. I have seen her in a few other things before. Um, mostly TV shows. I remember her recently though from lost in space um the reboot that's on netflix so that's where i know her from um she does a good job in this movie um next person up is logan miller he plays ben miller in this movie he does a good job as well um you have jay ellis as uh jason walker um tyler labane as mike nolan i know him from actually actually tucker and dale versus evil which I thought was a very funny movie. Um, I should actually maybe do that movie next, but um, that's where I know him from. And I know he's on TV. He has a, he does a a roles here and there on a couple of TV shows. Um, Deborah Ann Wool plays Amanda Harper. I know her from True Blood. Um, I used, I used to love True Blood. That was one of my favorite shows. Um, and then the last but not least is Nick Dodani. He plays Danny Khan. So these are pretty much the six strangers that are tossed into this game of survival. What what I think is that this movie was actually shot pretty well. Um, it was directed pretty well. Um, you you do get a little bit of character development, um, mostly from Taylor Russell. And also from Deborah Ann Wool, I think are probably the strongest two. Um, I actually did like Jay Ellis's role in this too. I thought you know he was good. Um, and also Tyler Labane, actually, he was actually pretty funny in this as well. He has some pretty good good lines in this movie. Um, and this movie actually did a lot better than I thought it was going to do, or that I thought it did. Um, actually. It made $154 million internationally, or worldwide, I should say, off of a $9 million budget, which is phenomenal. You don't really hear about too many movies making that much money off of that small of a budget. So, I mean, it it did great. Um, I don't know if they're going to make a sequel to this movie. It, the, the way that it ends, it kind of sets it up that they could. But, I mean, since the movie was successful, they technically could do it and you know the next movie may not be as successful but i mean if if they're going to shoot this movie for under i would say probably 20 20 million you know and it makes around the same amount you know it's still profitable for the studio so you know that's what i've noticed like a lot of these horror thrillers are very profitable studios they cost very little to make and they usually end up making a good amount of change back. Um, So currently right now, it sits at a 6.3 on IMDb. And on Rotten Tomatoes, it got about a 50%. um, 5.2 was the average. And I think I agree a little bit more with IMDb. 
I think it was actually a very solid movie. It was actually a lot um, more entertaining than I thought. Um, I enjoyed, you know, the character. I thought the character, the actresses and actors did a good job with the characters, with the material that they were given. Um, I think it was shot pretty well. The The main star of this movie is the escape rooms. There's some very elaborate escape rooms uh, that are pretty nice. Um, I would say probably my favorite is there's like a um, puzzle, like upside down type escape room that's kind of towards the middle, middle-ish end of the film. Um, that is really cool. And, you know, they're actually, I think every every escape room had its its cool, you know, kind of like very creepy kind of, you know, this is <laughs> this is the end of the line. How are we going to escape this type vibe? So uh, they did a really good job with the escape rooms and, and the elaborateness and, you know, just like the the feel and look of it. Um, and there's really not much else to say about this movie, I, I don't think. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's shot pretty well. The escape rooms are very elaborate, very cool. Um, the actors, actresses did a good job with what they were given. You know, so, you know, some of the, the dialogue was corny, but you know, it's it's a horror movie. It's such an you, you kind of know what you're gonna get with this. You're not gonna get Oscar caliber acting. You're not gonna get you know <laughs> you know awesome screenwriting. You're just gonna get a movie that kind of moves you from point A to point B, and that this movie does a good job at that. Um, if they do make a sequel, I'll definitely check it out. Um, like I said, the way they end it, they kind of set it up where it's a possibility that they could, you know, elaborate and and make a sequel on it, or they could just end it. I personally would probably just end it, but, you know, Hollywood, they want to make as much money as possible, so we'll see. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, you know, thanks again for listening.